सोर्स ऑफ एनर्जी सोर्सेस ऑफ एनर्जी चैप्टर नंबर फोर्टीन इन क्लासेस नाइन वे स्टूडेंट दैट दर टोटल एनर्जी ड्यूरिंग ए केमिकल और फिजिकल प्रोसेस इज ए कंजर्वेड देन वाई डू वी हियर सो मच अबाउट द एनर्जी एनर्जी क्रिसिस इफ एनर्जी कैन नादर बी क्रिएटेड नोर डिस्टोरेड वी शुड हैव नो वरीज वी शुड बी एबल टू डू इट लेंस एक्टिविटीज विदाउट थिंकिंग अबाउट सोर्सेस ऑफ एनर्जी दिस रेडर कैन बी सोल्वेड इफ वी रिकॉल वट इल्स वी स्टूडेंट अबाउट एनर्जी एनर्जी कम्स इन वेरियस इन वेरियस फॉर्म्स एंड वन फॉर्म कैन बी कन्वर्टेड टू अनदर फॉर्म फॉर एग्जाम्पल फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ वी ड्रॉप ए प्लेट फ्रॉम फ्रॉम ए सर्टन हाइट द पोटेंशियल एनर्जी ऑफ द प्लेट इज चेंज मोस्टली इन टू साउंड एनर्जी साउंड एनर्जी वेन वेन इट हिट्स द ग्राउंड इफ वी लाइट ए कैंडल दिस प्रोसेस इज हाईली एक्सोथर्मिक सो दैट द केमिकल एनर्जी इज द वैक्स इज कन्वर्टेड टू लाइट एनर्जी एंड हिट एनर्जी ऑन बर्निंग वट अदर वट अदर प्रोडक्ट्स आर प्रोड्यूसड वेन वी बर्न ए कैंडल द टोटल एनर्जी ड्यूरिंग ए केमिकल और फिजिकल प्रोसेस रिमेन्स द सेम बट सपोज वी थिंक वी थिंक अबाउट थिंक अबाउट द बर्निंग कैंडल अगेन कैन वी सम हाउ पुट टूगेदर द लाइट एंड हिट जनरेटेड along with the products of the reaction to get back the chemical energy as wax let us think another example suppose we take 100 ml milliliter of water which temperature is 348k 75 degrees celsius and leave it in a room room where where the temperature is 298k 20 degrees celsius what will occur is there any way of collecting all the heat lost of lost to the environment lost to the environment and making the water hot once it has become cool in any in any such example we think we will see that energy is is the uh, in the usual in the usual form is dispersed dispersed to the surroundings in less un, uh, usual forms hence any source of energy we use to do work is used and cannot be consumed again what is a good source what is a good source of energy what can then be considered as a good source for energy be in our daily life lives we uh, use energy from different sources of for during work we consume diesel uh, diesel to run uh, our trains we use electricity to light our street lamps uh, trains we use electricity to light our street lamps or we use energy in our muscles for training cycle to school the muscular energy for doing physical work electrical energy for running uh, different uh, appliances chemical energy for cooking food or running a vehicle all come all come from some source we require to know how do we select how do we select uh, the source required for obtaining the energy in its uh, usable form after going uh, through the above two activities we can find that the particular source of energy or fuel we select for doing the work depends on various factors so for example while while choosing a fuel we would ask the following questions ourselves how much heat does it releases or burning is it easily available easily available does it produce a lot of smoke can you consider of three smoke related questions to ask about a fuel given a range of fuels that we have today what are the factors which which would limit our choice when it comes to a particular task such as cooking our food would would the fuel selected also based on the work to be done for example would we would would we select our one fuel for cooking and another for heating the room in winter season we could then say that a good source of energy would be done which could do a large amount of work per unit mass or volume we assembles uh, assembles so uh, easily be easy to transport and store and perhaps most importantly be economical conventional sources of energy fossil fuels would watch the most common source of heat energy each heat energy in ancient times the energy of flowing wind and water was also uh, used for limited activities can you consider some of the uses the explosion of coal as a source of energy made the industrial revolution possible revolution possible increasing industrialization has resulted a better a better quality of life in the whole world 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 it has also caused the global demand for energy to develop at a, uh, develop at a 
देम ट्रे मिनट्स ट्रे मिनट्स रेट द ग्रोविंग डिमांड फॉर एनर्जी वाच लार्जली फुलफिल्ड बाय द फोजिल फ्यूल्स पेट्रोलियम एंड कोयल आवर टेक्नोलॉजी वर आल्सो डेवलपेड फॉर यूजिंग दिज एनर्जी सोर्सेस बट दिज फ्यूल्स वर प्रोड्यूसड ओवर मिलियंस ऑफ इयर्स एगो एंड दिज आर ओनली सम लिमिटेड रिसोर्स द फोजिल फ्यूल्स आर नॉन रिनेवेबल सोर्सेस ऑफ एनर्जी सो वी हैव टू कंजर्व देम इफ वी कंटिन्यू कंज्यूमिंग दिज सोर्सेस एट सच अलार्मिंग रेट्स वी रेट्स वी वी वुड सून वी वुड सून विदाउट विदाउट एनर्जी इन ऑर्डर टू प्रिवेंट दिज अल्टरनेट सोर्सेस सोर्सेस ऑफ एनर्जी वर एक्सप्लोरेड बट वी बट वी कंटिन्यू टू बी डिपेंडेंट लार्जली लार्जली ऑन फ्यूजल लार्जली ऑन फ्यूजल फ्यूल्स फॉर मोस्ट ऑफ आवर एनर्जी नीड्स एनर्जी नीड्स एनर्जी नीड्स बर्निंग ऑफ अ फोजल बर्निंग ऑफ फोजल फ्यूल्स बर्निंग ऑफ फोजल फ्यूल्स हैज अदर डिसवाटेज टू वी स्टडीड इन क्लास नाइन अबाउट द एयर पोल्यूशन कॉसड बाय बर्निंग ऑफ पेट्रोलियम और कोयल प्रोडक्ट्स द ऑक्साइड्स द ऑक्साइड्स ऑफ कार्बन सल्फर एंड नाइट्रोजन दैट आर रिलेटेड ऑन बर्निंग फ्यूजल फ्यूल्स आर एसिडिक ऑक्साइड्स दिच कोस दिच कोसेस एसिड रेन विन विच एफेक्ट्स आवर सोयल एंड वाटर रिसोर्सेस इन एडिशन टू द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ एयर पॉपुलेशन pollution of air pollution recall the greenhouse effect of gases such as carbon dioxide methane etc etc the pollution resulted by burning fossil fuels can be somewhat reduced by increasing the efficiency of the combustion process and using different techniques to reduce the escapes escape of gases and and harmful gases into the surroundings besides being uh, being used directly for different purposes in vehicles and gas stoves so do you know fossil fuels are the major major fuels used uh, used for generating electricity let us generate let us generate some electricity at our own small plant in the class and observe what a gas what a gas it into producing our favorite form of energy this is this is this is our this is our turbine for for producing electricity the simplest turbines contain one moving part uh, a rotor rotor blade assembly the moving fluid acts on the blades to spin them and uh, provide energy to the rotor thus we observe that basically we require to move the fan the uh, rotor blade with uh, the speed which would turn the shaft uh, of the generator Uh, dynamo and convert the mechanical energy into electrical energy the form of energy which has become a essential requirement in today's uh, scenario the different ways in which this can be done depends upon availability of the resources we will see run the turbine and produce electricity in the flowing sections thermal power plants large amount of fossil fuels are are burnt in power stations our power stations every day to heat up water to form a steam which further runs the turbine to produce electricity the transmission of electricity is more efficient than transporting petroleum or coal over the same distance over the same distance therefore many thermal power plants are set up near oil or coal fields the term thermal power plant is used since fuel is burnt to generate heat energy which is changed into electrical energy hydro hydro power plants hydro power plants are another traditional source of energy which is the potential energy of water at a height or the kinetic energy of a flowing water hydro power plants change the potential energy of a falling water into electricity since there are very very few waterfalls which could be uh, utilized as a source of potential energy hydro power plants are related with dams in the last century a large number of dams were constructed all over the world as we can observe from p uh, pie chart uh, one fourth of our energy requirement in india is met uh, by hydro power plants in order to generate hydel electricity high rise dams are built one uh, on the river on the river to obstruct to flow of water and uh, there we collect uh, water in big uh, reservoirs the water level increases the water level increases and in this process the kinetic energy the kinetic energy of flowing kinetic energy of uh, of a flowing water gets converted into potential energy the water from the high level in the dam is allowed to fall through pipes 
to the to the tur turbine at the bottom of the each time each time each time it runs hydro power is renewable even a renewable source of energy we need not have to worry about hydroelectricity electricity sources sources getting consumed up the way fossil fuels would get ended one day one day but building of a day, uh, of a big dams have uh, certain problems associated with it the dams can be built only in a only in a limited uh, number of places mainly in hilly uh, terrains large areas areas of human habitation and agriculture and land are to are to um, be satisfied as they uh, get submerged large ecosystems are destructed uh, when submerged under the water in dams the vegetation which is submerged roots under an aerobic conditions and leads to large amounts of of methane which is also which is also a greenhouse gas it produces it produces the problem of satisfactory re, uh, rehabilitation of uh, displaced people opposition opposition against a building of uh, tehri dam uh, dam on uh, the ganga and sadar uh, sardar uh, sarwar uh, project on the narmada are due to these problems improvements in the technology for using conventional sources of energy by mass we mentioned previously that wood has been used as a fuel for a long time if we can ensure that a sufficient trees are planted uh, trees trees are planted trees are planted a continuous fire wood supply can be assured can be assured you must also know about the use of cow dung dung cakes as a fuel fuel given the large livestock livestock population livestock population in india this can also assure as a, as a study fuel source since rich fuels are animal and plant products the source of rich fuels are called biomass i are called biomass rich fuels however do not generate much heat on burning and a lot of smoke is produced when they are burnt therefore technology technological imports to improve the efficiency of these fuels are essential when wood is burnt in a limited supply of oxygen supply of oxygen volatile materials and water present in it get removed and the crocol is left left behind as the left behind as the residue crocol burns without flames is comparatively a smokeless and has higher higher heat production efficiency similar cow dung similar cow dung a different plant mineral materials like the residue after harvesting the crop crops sewage and vegetable vegetable waste vegetable waste are decomposed in the absence of oxygen to produce biogas since the starting material it is mainly cow dung it is properly it is popularly called as a gobar gas biogas is generated in a plant so in figure the plant has in the plant has a dome like structure con constructed with bricks with bricks a slurry a slurry of water and cow dung dug is made in uh, in the in the mixing tank tank from where it where it poured into the digester into the digester the digester is is a is a air tight chamber in which there is no oxygen anaerobic microorganisms that do not need oxygen decompose or spilled or spilled down complex compounds of the cow dung slurry it takes a time period of of few days for the decomposition process to be complete and produces gases like methane carbon dioxide hydrogen sulfide and hydrogen the biogas the biogas is stored in the gas sulfide and hydrogen the biogas is stored in the gas tank above the digester from which they are drowned by pipes for use Biogas is an biogas is an excellent fuel as it has up to 75% methane. It burns without it burns without the smoke and leaves no residue, such as as an wood. Crocol and coal burning its heat heating capacity is very high. Biogas is also utilized for lighting. The slurry left behind is removed removed periodically and consumed as excellent manure. Rich, rich in phosphorus and nitrogen, the large scale utilization of bio waste and sewage material gives us a safe and efficient method of waste disposal. Besides supplying manure and energy, do you consider that that biogas is a renewable source of energy? What energy? What energy we saw in our previous class now unequal. 
हीटिंग ऑफ द लैंड मास एंड वाटर बॉडीज बाय सोलर रेडिएशन के रेट्स एयर मूवमेंट एंड रिजल्ट्स मूवमेंट एंड रिजल्ट्स इन द वाइंड्स टू फ्लो दिस काइनेटिक एनर्जी ऑफ द वाइंड कैन बी यूज्ड टू परफॉर्म वर्क दस एनर्जी वाज हार्नेस्ड बाय वाइंड मिल्स इन द पास्ट टू डू एनी मैकेनिकल वर्क फॉर फॉर एग्जांपल इन ए वाटर लिफ्टिंग पंप द रोटेशनल द रोटेशनल मोशन ऑफ अ वाइंड मिल इज यूज्ड टू लिफ्ट वाटर वाटर From a well today, wind energy is also used to produce produce electricity. A wind mill essentially consists of a structure identical to a large electric fan that is created at some height on a rigid or tough support. Tough support to produce electricity, the rotation rotatory uh, the rotatory motion of the wind mill is utilized to turn the turbine. Of the electric generated, the output of a single of a single wind mill is quite little and cannot be conserved for commercial chemical purposes. Therefore, a number of wind mills are erected over a over a large area, which is which is called as wind energy form. The energy production of energy wind mill a in a form is coupled coupled together to generate electricity on a commercial scale. wind energy is an efficient and environment friendly source uh, source of uh, renewable energy it requires no requiring requiring expenses for the generation of electricity but uh, there are many limitations in using wind energy first of all wind energy farms can be established only at those places where strong winds blow for the greater part of a year the speed of wind should also be higher than 50 km per hour to sustain the required of speed of the turbine furthermore there should be some back up facilities such as storage cells to take care of the energy requirements during a period during a period when, when there is no wind establishment of wind energy farms needs large area of land from from For a one mw, for a one mw generated, the worms requires about two hectares of land. Of land, the annual cost of the worm establishment is quite high. Moreover, since the blades and uh, towers, towers and are exposed to the very various of nature like uh, rain, storm, sun, and cyclone, they uh, they require a high level of maintenance. Alternative or non-conventional sources of energy. our demand for energy increases with the technological progress day by day our lifestyles are also changing we use machines to do more and more of our works our basic needs 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 for also needs for also increasing as uh, increasing as uh, industrialization raises our living standards our living living understand uh, uh, standards as our uh, as our demands as our demand for energy increases we require to look what look to look for more and more sources of energy we could develop the technology to consume the known or available sources of energy more efficiently efficiently energy more efficiently and also look to new sources of energy any new source any new source of energy we seek to exploit would require a specific devices devices that develop with that source source in mind we shall now see some of the latest sources of energy that we that we seek to tap and the technology designed to store and capture energy from that source solar energy solar energy the sun has been radiating a lot of a lot of energy at the present rate for nearly 5 billion years and uh, will radiate uh, at the rate at the rate of uh, for about 5 billion years more only a little part of uh, solar uh, solar energy reaches the outer la- outer layer of the earth earth's atmosphere nearly one half of it is absorbed while passing passing across the atmosphere and the rest reaches the earth's surface a block surface absorbs a maximum heat as a, uh, compared to a white or any uh, reflecting surface under similar conditions solar cookers and uh, solar water heaters use this property in their functioning some functioning some solar cookers uh, uh, attain a higher temperature with the help of mirrors to focus the rays of the sun solar cookers are covered with a glass plate covering recall what we have studied about the green house effect does this explain why a glass plate is used as a cover 
It is easy to observe that these devices are useful only at certain times during the day. The limitation of the use of solar energy is overcome by using solar cells that changes solar energy into electricity. A typical cell develops develops a voltage of 0.5 to 1 V and can generate about 0.7 W of electricity when exposed to the sun. A large number of solar cells are connected in an arrangement known as known as solar cell known as a solar cell panel that can generate enough the, enough electricity for practical use. For practical use. For practical age, the principal advantage advantages related with the solar cells are that they have no moving parts, need a little, need a little maintenance and work quite satisfactory satisfactorily without the huge uh, usage of any focusing device. Another significance. Significance is that they can be set up in in essential and remote harmless harmless or very uh, especially in habitated areas in which laying on a power in a power transmission line line may be costly and uh, not visible not visible commercially silicon silicon which is used silicon which is used for uh, forming solar cells is uh, evident in nature but a relative for uh, of the special grade uh, silicon for uh, forming solar cells is limited the complete process of manufacture is still very expensive Sil silver silver used for interconnection of the cells in the panel Further rises the cost. In a spite of the high cost and low efficiency, solar cells are used for a many technological and scientific applications. Applications, artificial satellites, and uh, and uh, as well as uh, as well as uh, such as uh, Mars uh, orbiters uh, use uh, solar cells uh, as the source of energy. Wireless, wireless uh, or radio. Transmission systems or TV TV really is a station in a remote in a remote locations use solar cells planets. Planets calculators, traffic signals, and many towers are fitted are fitted with solar cells. The solar cell panels are fixed on a specially designed inclined roof tops so that maximum solar energy is incident incident over it or over over it. However, However, the domestic use of solar cells is limited due to its high annual cost. Energy from energy from the sea to trendal energy due to the gravitational force of mainly the moon on the spinning Earth, the water level in the sea rises and falls. If you live if if you live near the sea or ever uh, travel to some place uh, close or to the sea, try and observe how the sea level changes during the day. This phenomena is known as high and low tides, and the difference in sea levels provides as a tidal energy. Tidal energy is hard harnessed harnessed by building a dam across across a narrow opening to the sea. Turbine, a turbine fixed at the opening of the dam changes tidal energy to electricity. As you can guess, the locations where such dams can be constructed are limited. Wave energy, wave energy. Similarly, the kinetic energy present in huge waves near the sea shore can be trapped in a similar manner. To produce electricity, the waves are created by strong winds, winds blowing across the sea. Wave energy would be a wavelength position, pre position only, only, only way uh, where wave, uh, waves, the, uh, waves are very fast uh, moving or strong. A wide, a wide variety, a wide variety of devices have been uh, developed to observe wave energy for uh, rotation of a turbine and uh, generation of electricity. Ocean thermal energy. The water at the surface of the ocean or sea is heated by the sun white. The water in a deeper secretion is relatively cold. This difference is the temperature is exploited to get energy in ocean thermal energy. Conversion plants, these plants can work if the temperature change change between the water at the surface and at a depth up to 2 km 20 k. 20 degrees Celsius or more the warm surface water is used to boil a volatile liquid such as ammonia, the vapors of the liquid are then used to rotate the turbine or generator or generator the cold generator the cold uh, water obtained from the depth of the ocean is pumped up and again condenses vapor into liquid 
and to liquid the energy potential the energy potential uh, from the sea wave uh, wave energy tidal energy and ocean thermal energy is a large about a efficient commercial explosion explosion exploitation is a difficult uh, geothermal energy geothermal energy due to geological changes mountain rocks in the deeper hot regions of earth's crust are pushed upward and trapped in certain regions known as hot spots when underground cold water comes in contact with the hot spot a steam is produced sometimes hot water from that region from that region uh, finds uh, outlets at the surface such outlets are called as uh, so hot springs the steam trapped in rock in rocks is rotated by a pipe to a turbine and used to produce electricity the cost of a generation would not be much but there are very less commercially visible sites where such energy can be exploited there are number of power plants which depend on geothermal energy operational is united in united states of america and new zealand nuclear energy nuclear energy how is nuclear energy produced in a process called nuclear fission the nucleus of a heavy atom like uranium plutonium or thorium when uh, when burned with low energy in neutrons can be broken up into lighter nuclei when this is done a very high amount of energy is produced if the mass of the original nucleus is just a little more than the sum of the masses of the masses of the of the individual products for example the fusion of an atom of uranium products 10 million times the energy generated by the combination of an atom of a carbon from coil in a, in a nuclear reactor designed for electric for electric power generation this type of a nuclear fuel can be a part of a self sustaining fission chain reaction that liberates energy at a controlled rate the released the released energy can be used to generate a steam and further further produce electricity the major hazard of a nuclear power reproduction is the storage and disposal of used or spent fuels the uranium steel decaying into harmful sub subatomic particles radiations in proper nuclear waste disposal and storage result in environmental population further population further there is a, there is a risk of incidental leakage of a nuclear radiation the high cost of installation of a nuclear power plant high risk of environmental population Uh, pollution and limited availability of uranium creates large scale consumption of nuclear energy prohibitive first of all first first of all uh, first of all uh, nu nuclear energy was used for destructive purposes before nuclear power stations were designed the fundamental physics physics of the fusion change reactions in a nuclear weapon is same as the physics of a controlled nuclear reactor but the but the two types of instruments are engineered quite differently uh, environmental constraints constraints we have read various sources of energy in the earlier sections depletion of any source of energy disturbs the environment in some way of or some way or the other in any given situation so the source we would select depends on factors like the is like the s of extracting energy from the from that source the economics of extracting energy energy from the energy source the efficiency of the available technology and the environmental damage that will be caused by using that um, that source through with talk of clean fuels such as cng it would it would be more exact to say that a specific source is cleaner than the than the other we have already studied studied that burning fuel fuels causes air pollution in some cases the actual operation of a device such as the solar cell may be population free but the assembly of the device would have resulted some environmental damage research continues in this areas to create correct uh, long lasting devices that will cause less damage throughout their wool life wool life wool life uh, how long will a, a will an energy source last as we saw earlier that we cannot uh, depend a uh, much longer on the fossil fuels such sources that will uh, get uh, exploited some day are said to be uh, to be non renewable or uh, extractable sources of energy on the other hand if we manage if we manage by mass by replacing the trees we felled down for fire would we can be assumed for a constant supply for energy uh, of energy at a definite at a definite rate such energy resources that can be generated regenerated are known as renewable sources of energy 
renewable energy is found in our natural environment in the form of some repetitive or continuing currents of energy or is stored in such in such large underground reservoirs that the rate of extraction of of the reservoirs because of extraction of useful useful energy is practically negligible